I know the question I got to ask, because you're the perfect guest. Okay. Playing at North Carolina with Michael Jordan. In the same backcourt. In the same backcourt. This, this is what the people want to know. It's not even me. I'm standing up for the people at this moment. Could Michael Jordan go left? <laughs> no, man, yeah, this, right. one, this is what I'm dealing with. This is the hypocrisy of idiocy that is going on right now. This is what the people want to see, Could man. Michael Jordan go left. You haven't heard we done with the 90s? No, but listen to what I'm saying. Let me see. Yeah. Help him. Help I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. No, no, you serious. No, no, I'm not serious. I'm not serious. You know serious. what, you you know know what that would be like? That's like saying, Can Prince play the guitar? That's Fair a great enough. word. Like, yeah, he had people in the band that played it. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. Then. That's Michael Jordan, man. Like, Michael Jordan was the most complete basketball player that's ever lived. Mm -hmm. Complete. Mm -hmm. Like, Kareem was just as effective. Mm -hmm. Certain people could be. LeBron, at times, could be just as effective. But the most complete basketball player that ever lived. Is Michael Jordan completeness? Preach, preach. So like his ability to do every aspect of basketball at the highest level, and I think that came from going to college, mm. because in college, the <laughs> best. I'm glad you talked. No, I said, I said no, he, when he, he got it, to the pros, he had no weaknesses. He had no weaknesses, because what happens is what college does. The best coaches are in college basketball, because mm -hmm. there's more. Mm -hmm. The best ones are there. So they design defenses and offenses that are different from the NBA. So you learn how to play against a zone defense. You learn how to play against a man-to-man, -man, one three one two one two. You know different defenses. NBA is just strict man-to-man. -man, but your philosophies and thought process is from a totality of all of those defenses. Yeah. So now the game is easier for you, and you're much more easier. What I always say about Michael, which is different between even the great Kobe Bryant and great LeBron James is, he was still the most fundamental basketball player. Mm. Like, LeBron's IQ is crazy, but the most fundamental, when you watch LeBron, you don't always say he's most fundamental. Yeah. So, correct hand in the passing lane. But mm. uh, that was Michael. He mm. was the best athlete and the most fundamental because he went to college for three years and developed certain things, you know? Yeah. Michael Jordan, some, those three years in college, imagine he only went one year. Oh my God, or none. Uh, Michael Jordan, most complete basketball player. Y'all yeah. average dudes would have been average. <laughs> Y'all would have been average. You wouldn't have been great. You would not have been. You, you're a specialist. You might not have been in the league. There was no... Jack, was there a term called two-way player when we played? No. If you didn't play two ways, you couldn't play. There's mm -hmm. no such thing as, oh, he's a two-way player. Yeah. Because there were very few specialists. So, like, now you could be a specialist and get $15 million dollars. And you're looking at your salary and say, I'm good. No, you're not. Yeah. You're just a specialist that shot the ball. Like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Can you imagine guys trying to guard you without being able to hand check you? Okay. <laughs> the, the, I threw the law. I threw the law. <laughs> now I'm out. The hand check rule is the single rule why I feel that players in that era would be better players. Mm -hmm. It's not because they worked harder or whatever. It's just the rule. Because when you play hand check, right, I can get up. I could get up. Yeah, yeah. I can stand up. Yeah. Okay. If we hand check it. So yeah. he's hand checking me. I have to, because he's hand checking, I have to turn this way. Yeah. Without the hand check, I can face up here. Now I become a better passer because I have, my peripheral is now at 75 degrees where here it's at 50. Yeah. I'm a better passer because I can see more. I'm a better ball handler because I can play with it. You can't touch me. I'm a better shooter. Because now my feet are squared up to the rim. Here, I have to turn, and it's you can see me turn. Yeah. Now I can, hey. And I can, <laughs> all right, all right, you still moving. That's what I'm see, talking about. That's what I'm talking moving. about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that was nice. There, boy. Come on, that was nice. Yeah. yeah. Without the hand check, it makes, and when people, and, and this is no disrespect, because these guys are great ball handlers, Steph, Kyrie, and all this great, unbelievable. But it makes them better. James mm -hmm. Hall, it makes you a better ball handler because you're playing with the ball, and no one's touching you. So now the stuff that you do in the playground that we grew up doing in the playground, that's the stuff you could actually do in a game now. If you went to a playground game and saw Mark Jackson, you saw myself, you saw Kenny Anderson, you saw Cham Guard, you saw all these guys from the eras that we come in. Skip. Skip. You'd be like, what the heck? Oh, my. But when you get in the NBA, you can't yeah. face up. 
Like LeBron James is effective. He can impact the game. You know that, but I, I I just don't think defensively is where that's the separation to me. Mm-hmm. Is where defensively we used to run. I don't know if y'all did this. We used to run plays, right? We go okay. Rudy be our coach. Rudy T be writing on the board. He's like, okay, we're gonna run five. But if Michael's on the right side, we gonna <laughs> run it on the left. He's like all right, like, say yeah. it one time, right? Yeah. I think it's a joke. So I'm like, I'm, in my mind, I'm I know I know Michael as Mike. So I'm mm-hmm. still listening as he's still my boy, kind of. Yeah. And he goes, okay, and we're going to run uh, 21. But if Michael's on the left side, we're going to run. And he'd go down each play and say where Michael was, and we're going to run it on a different side. That's the impact defensively had. I, did they do that? I don't know. If Absolutely. He, I, that's the part that even when I talk to coaches, they don't say that, that he has that impact. Mm-hmm. LeBron has the same effect on the offensive end that Michael has because it's passing, yeah. rebounding. But on the defensive end, that's where that's the that's the caveat that separates it. The legacy that y'all leave for Jordan saying that he was six and zero in the finals is true, but y'all discredit the fact that he lost other times other than making it. Make See, up, I, I don't. Lose, I, I, that is a that's that's a statistical thing that the other people. I told you, I'm, we from New York. We look peripheral too. <laughs> okay, so then we're I, saying this: mm-hmm. if there's a game and we're playing three on three in the park. There's a different impact that Michael has. I agree, but I'm with you. It doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> I'm with you on that. It doesn't have anything to do. Do they do this? Let me say this. this y'all, we used to do this on the, on the bus. We go, all right, it's, fit, it's 10 seconds to go. The ball's at one end line, and you got to get the last second shot. Who's gonna, who you going to take the last second shot? But you can't put Mike in this. Right. We would say that mm-hmm. you can't put him in this talk. I guess it comes down to, because I, I hear what you're saying. I guess it comes down to, if I want one game, give me Michael. But then why is talk, that not your GOAT? Because if we're talking about the GOAT, then how do you just discredit LeBron's legacy? No, we're not discrediting. But if, it, if you take it down to one game, then you take away LeBron's biggest benefit in the argument, which no. is his longevity. No, his longevity... But each game, I need one game in that year. <laughs> I, need, I need one game in that year. I'm going with Michael. I need one game in that 21-year right. career. Every year, I'm going to be like, give me Michael. Give me Michael that year. Give me Michael that year. Give me Michael that year. And this so, isn't a shot. We say this with great respect and, and admiration for what he's been able to do. But there's only one answer. It's, only, right. it's just LeBron is – I've never seen anybody the long, the play this high level this long. I've yeah. never seen that. Yeah. That is the, the that is the goat of longevity. Yeah. Like because the high level that he's playing at. But the best basketball player, if you take a ten decade, ten years that ever existed. Mike. 